El Dorado, Gilded Man or Golden One, referred to the legendary kings of the Muisca, Chibcha, people who populated the northern Andes of modern-day Colombia from 600 to 1600. The name derives from the coronation ritual when the new king was covered in gold dust before he leapt into Lake Guadavita. Over time, El Dorado extended its meaning to refer to a lost mythical city and even an entire region. When the Spanish conquistadors heard these incredible tales of a city of gold they tried every means possible to find it. Ultimately though, the Spanish, and the explorers and treasure hunters who followed them, never did find the fabulous treasures of El Dorado. El Dorado, the legend. The legend of El Dorado was about a fabulously wealthy city of gold and the king who ruled over it. The story sprang up shortly after the first Spanish explorers landed in Central and South America. Local people told tales of a rich king who plastered his body with gold dust and then dived into a sacred lake to wash it off. Afterward, he would toss gold into the lake as an offering to the gods. The Spanish called the King El Dorado the Gilded One because his body was gilded, or covered, in gold. As the tale spread, the city he ruled came to be called El Dorado. Eventually, the meaning of the name changed to include any mythical region that contained great riches. An early version of the El Dorado legend placed the city near Lake Guadavita not too far from modern Bogota, Colombia. The story was based on the Muisca people who performed a ceremony similar to that in the legend. The Muisca king, covered with gold dust, boarded a raft in the lake and made offerings to the gods. Both Spaniards and Germans searched the region in 1538 but failed to find El Dorado. They looked in a number of other places as well. Local inhabitants usually claimed that El Dorado was somewhere far away in the hope that the Europeans would search elsewhere and leave them in peace. Men as famous as Sir Walter Raleigh spent years in South America looking for legendary golden cities such as Manoa and Omegua. Other places mentioned in stories were Paitatai, a land of gold located in Paraguay, and the city of the Caesars, an invisible golden city in Chile. Several bloody expeditions were launched to find these imaginary kingdoms. One of the most tragic was led by a rebel soldier named Lope de Aguirre, a brutal madman who proclaimed himself king and was murdered by one of his followers. Throughout time, many explorers have set out with a purpose. Beyond seeing what was out there, they were usually searching for something special. Some explorers wanted to conquer lands for their home countries. Others sought out riches, particularly gold. In fact, the search for gold led many explorers to South America. There, they looked in vain for a lost city supposedly made of gold. What are we talking about? El Dorado, of course. Over time, the myth of El Dorado came to represent a hidden city. It's said to sit deep within South America. And of course, it's the source of untold riches, mainly in the form of gold. Experts believe, though, that the El Dorado myth evolved over time. They think that El Dorado actually began as a man, not a place. The ancient Muisca people lived deep in the Andes Mountains. Their civilization sat in what is now Colombia. The Muisca people had a special tradition when a new king rose to power. The king would coat himself in gold dust before diving into Lake Guadavita. As part of the ceremony, gold and other precious jewels would be thrown into the lake. This was thought to please an underwater god. Spanish explorers who arrived in the early 16th century heard about the Muisca people and their tradition. They even gave the king a name, El Dorado or the Gilded One. In 1545, they found Lake Guadavita and tried to drain it. Although they did find hundreds of pieces of gold, the vast treasure they hoped for was not there. This led the Spanish to decide that Lake Guadavita was not the place they were looking for. So they continued to search for a city that ultimately did not exist. In this way, the myth of El Dorado grew from a man to a place of great riches.
Lake Parame. Lake Parame or Lake Parama is a legendary lake located in South America. It was reputedly the location of the fabled city of El Dorado, also known as Manoa, much sought after by European explorers. Repeated attempts to find the lake failed to confirm its existence, and it was dismissed as a myth along with the city. The search for Lake Parame led explorers to map the rivers and other features of southern Venezuela, northern Brazil, and southwestern Guiana before the lake's existence was definitively disproved in the early 19th century. Some explorers proposed that the seasonal flooding of the Rupununi savanna may have been misidentified as a lake. <laughs>